Oh man, summer's almost over, but you know what that means? It's apple picking season. I know y'all are going to be picking some beautiful Granny Smith apples, but not a lot of people know the name origin behind the Granny Smith apple. So my name is Matt. I actually own my own apple orchard in upstate New York for about three years. So I'm kind of an expert on apples. Granny Smiths are actually a very recent breed of apples. They've, they've not been around for too long. And it's a very unique story. We, I, we all know the actor Will Smith. He's famous. He's been in a lot of great movies. He, you know, he has a mean, mean slapping hand. His grandmother was known for baking pies. He said about in interviews a lot, she made amazing apple pies. Um, unfortunately, she passed away uh, a while ago. May she rest in peace. And they actually buried her underneath an apple tree. And I think the story goes, the apples were red originally. And after they buried her, after a few years, they actually started growing green. And when they tried these apples, they were delicious. They were, they're Granny Smith apples. And so they realized that the tree was actually feeding on her nutrients from her body and creating a new breed of apples. And so basically every time you're eating a Granny Smith apple, you're, you're eating Will Smith's dead grandmother, which is crazy to think about. And they spread this breed across the country and now they make pies with it exclusively. Actually, every time a Granny Smith apple is sold, the Grandma Smith estate gets a cut of the sales. So people think that Will Smith is rich from his movies mostly. He's actually mostly rich because of the Apple proceeds every single fall. He gets those Apple royalties and that severely affects his mood for the coming year. You know, we all know the incident that happened with him last year. Apples were really slow last year. He didn't make as much money. He was pissed for a while and he took his anger out on stage. So when you don't see him releasing movies in the fall, he's enjoying his Apple money. He's going out partying, doing whatever he needs to do. So moral of the story, when you die, instead of being cremated or instead of going into a cemetery, think, huh, maybe I taste good enough to breed a new breed of fruit that everyone in future generations can enjoy and I can set my family up for generational wealth. Think about that next time.